Hey guys, Crewman here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly install your brand new RX 7700 XT into your computer. We're going to be using this test bench right here, so let's get started. Now, we're going to use this test bench as an example of how to install it because I always recommend that you install your GPU with the PC lying on its, on its back. Even if you have this, say, in a case and not in an open airframe, you always want to install it like that. So we're going to pretend for the sake of this video that this is in a PC case and this is the last thing you need to put on your, your computer. So you want to line it up with the PCIe bracket like so and then you just want to drop it in. It's really simple. You'll hear a click and then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you screw it in to the case. Uh, every case has a different way, so just make sure you look at the manual on your case. This is just an open air test bench. Now, the good thing about the 7700 XT is that because it only has a maximum of TDP of 250 watts and it has 8 pin PCIe's, not the high, the 12 volt high power cable, we have a lot of options to plug this in. Now, the way I would recommend plugging this in is by using two separate 8 pins. Now, unlike some other videos I've done, this isn't necessary because if you look on the screen, you'll notice that the maximum TDP of one of these eight pin to two eight pins, now make sure, you have to make sure that it's an eight pin coming out of your, your power supply, not a six pin because that obviously changes things. But as long as it's an eight pin to two eight pins, you can actually just plug one of these in as this thing does not get to the maximum TDP of 288 watts, which is what this thing can handle. It's only 250 max. Now, like I said, I would always recommend two separate ones just to be on the safe side. But if you only have one, like so, this is all you have and you don't want to buy a new power supply, you can do this. Uh, I would just, you know, I would just monitor it, make sure that these cables don't feel hot. But you honestly should feel fine. You should be fine. Now, if you're going to do one of them, this is how you would install it. You put the first one in, like so, and then you wanna take the second one and line it up and just drop it in, and that's it, you're done. It should look something like this. Now, like I said, if you have the option, though, to add a second one, it does not hurt, honestly. And one thing I do also wanna note is that you will draw about 75 watts from the motherboard. So honestly, this is going to be more than safe just using a single one. But like I said, I prefer using two just because you can't be, you can't be too safe. But anyway, this is it. Pretty simple. It should look something like this. Obviously, you might want to tighten up the cables or do whatever you want. But that's it. Super simple, super easy. Don't overcomplicate this one. You really can't go wrong. Uh, like I said, you, just, you can either use one or two. Uh, PCIe or PCIe cables, not a big deal either way. The only other thing that I would note is you probably want to have a minimum of a 500 watt power supply for this. Now, if you have like a 60 watt CPU, like a 5600X or lower, you might be okay with like a 450. But if you have, you know, power supply, honestly, power supplies aren't expensive, especially like 500 watt or so. So I would recommend running at least a 500 water on this. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. We have a lot of other great content for new uh, and first time PC builders. So make sure you like and subscribe and feel free to become a member or book some one on one time with me if you have any questions. All right, guys, that's it. See you on the next one. Crew man out.